God has two desires among many. The first desire that God has is that the unchurched become transformed into sons who become members of the body with Christ as the head of the churches in their locality. The second reason is because God wants us who are the church already, the saints to continually be transformed as a collective membership of that same body of Christ for God to gain glory out there in the community. And no wonder Paul will write in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 10 says, For this end, which is the end of the working of the kingdom, both that we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men. Say Savior of all men especially of those who believe. That means when you talk about all men, it includes everybody. The people who are on the street who are yet to receive God, God is their savior, amen. But he says, especially those of us who are already in the kingdom, God is there to save us. And you've got to ask yourself, so what is God saving us from? If we're already in the kingdom, ah, that is where that scripture in Romans chapter 12 comes in. That we should not be conformed or be fashioned or be shaped by the world, but be transformed. Praise the Lord. Somebody say transform. You cannot transform yourself. You can read all the books, but you will not transform yourself. It takes God, praise the Lord, through his spirit to transform us. And that's why he says, especially those who believe. Praise the Lord. And so we see that God's desire is that the people who do not know him, know him. And those who know him, continue to know him more. So that the transformed living can be done according to the kingdom.